get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. This is Coogan Cassis for Eiffel TV and the Association Macklin's Jim Mulvey. We're in Rotherham here today with me. I've got one half of the McDonald twins. The champ. We're both champs, are they? Oh, yeah. He's in the Ponte Conte Tento. Thank you. I just gave him some stick about it. Yeah, he's WBC silver champion here. Um, so you're set to fight in Monaco on the 12th of November. Sure uh, am. Against. Uh, I don't know his first name, Libio Solis um, is a former world champion, um, fought Yamanaka two fights ago, game, dropped him, gave him a run for his money, uh, he's a good test, real good test, you know, if I'm not on the ball, you know, he'll beat me. <laughs> I love the way you're in, I don't, I don't know his first name. Well, I do, but I can't pronounce his yeah, name. Right. We know know. about you trying to pronounce um, those names. <laughs> Yeah. That so, yeah. are not from, you know, up this way. Yeah, well, so we've got uh, Solis, um, former world champion, um, real tough kid, you know, if I'm not on the ball, it will beat me. Uh, you know, it, it looks, sounds up for it, looks up for it. Um, like I said, though, I've been in gym 10 week now. We've still got five week on Saturday. Uh, you know, I'm absolutely flying uh, and I'll be ready, you know, really ready by the time I get in there. What was the situation regarding Rashid Warren? Um, Rashid Warren bottled it. You know, he's known about the fight. Eddie's put it to him. You know, they did want it in America. We said, yep, yeah, we'll go there. And then Eddie said, well, I can put it on in Monaco. Yep, yeah, we'll have it there. And then he's, he's just said, oh, I didn't want to fight till early next year, January, February or something. Uh, you know, we were ready for that good good fight, great fight, you know. Is it the fight you wanted? Definitely. Yeah. You know, I've had the WBA regular belt, you know, people kind of say, oh, he's not a world champion, blah, blah, blah. You know, if I go and get that title, you know, I'm, I'm a legitimate world champion, even though I am. Don't forget, I've won the IBF, should have the WBO, defended the regular four times or something. You know, I'd, you know, I can't listen as a true world champion. Um, and Rashi Warren, you know, is a good fighter, three-time Olympian, uh, you know, bringing it all to the table, but I believed, you know, it would be far too good for him, um, you know, so a little bit disappointed to be fair that it's, you know, I'm not fighting Rashi and it's not for the Super Bowl, but, you know, I've been training hard and I've been in the gym 10 weeks, like I said, so just looking forward to getting in there and fight, uh, you know, fight anyone who's put in front of me and, you know, I did come uh, the next best in line, Solis, I think he's ranked number two uh, with WBA, so uh, they brought him to the table and he's the one I'll be facing um, November the 12th. But, I mean, the Warren fight is a fight that will surely inevitably happen at some point. The fight has to happen, you know, yeah. the WBA have ordered it, uh, the fight has to happen. Um, I'm not sure when, might be early next year now. Um, but like I say, we've been training, we've been, we've, we've known for that fight, you know, probably for eight or ten weeks, you know, a long time. That's why I've been in the gym ten weeks, um, you know, so it's no fault of our own, but, you know, that's boxing, this stuff happens and, um, you know, we've just got to move on and, like I say, Eddie's got uh, Solis, next best in line and, you know, I'll go and showcase and show everyone what I'm about, you know, against Solis. We saw uh, Lee Haskins defend his title successfully against Short Hall recently. Um, surely for 2017 that's got to be an option for you as well. Definitely. Um, you know, I was going to move up uh, after the first Kameda fight and, I, you know, I make the weight still and I feel strong, you know, so I won't mind moving up though and start, you know, having some big fights at Super Bantam and maybe even featherweight, you know, in probably a year's time. So, uh, but the Askins fight is a fight, you know, I want and I wanted that fight anyway. You know what I mean? Um, especially when I won the world title, you know, that's my title. Um, you know, I'm hoping Eddie could have, you know, got that fight on. Um, but maybe that'll happen next year. Um, I think that's an easy fight for me. You know, I thought Stewie beat him. You know, probably by around the two. Uh, come on strong in the second. I probably did start a little bit too slow. 
Um, but I, th I believe Stewie should be the champion now, and you know, should be, you know, if I'm going to fight any of them, it should be Stewie. Um, but I'll go and fight Askins. If Eddie wants that fight early next year instead of Rashi Ward, I'll fight him. Don't matter. So how long do you anticipate staying at Bantamweight before making that move? While the fights are there for you, at that's it. As long as the yeah. fights are there, and the the um, you know they're going to get me motivated. I'll stay at this weight. You know, I'm not going to fight for no no money. You know what I mean? As long as the, the money's right and the and the fights right to motivate me, you know, I'll stay at bantamweight. I'd love to fight Yamanaka. Um, you know, I think to be the best in the division, I have to probably have to beat Yamanaka to prove that. Um, it's either me or we move best in the division. Um, but you know, like I said, I was going to move up after the first Kameda fight, um, and I've obviously stayed down at the weight, had a few more fights, beat him again. Um, so it all depends on who Eddie brings to the table, if we stay at Bantam or if we move up. I mean, despite going to America and beating Kameda back to back twice, uh, you still feel as though you're not getting recognised as this legitimate world champion. I do, yeah, I don't know. I, you know, it baffles me a little bit, you know. I should have three world titles, you know, fight anyone who's put in front of me. I've gone to America twice. You know, maybe it's a weight, I'm a smaller weight. Um, I don't know, but like I've said it for years now, I'll just fight whoever's put in front of me. I keep doing what I'm doing, you know, I enjoy fighting. You know, I enjoyed, I enjoy, you know, beating all these champions and taking the belts. Well, literally not taking Kameda's belt, did I? You know, it wasn't on the line, but. Um, I'm happy, you know, as long as I'm fighting, I'm happy, I've, I've always said that, so, you know, as long as Eddie starts keeping me busy, um, you know, I'm an happy man. Good buzz in this gym, obviously, uh, everyone's sort of involved, David Price fought in Germany, and he's going to be out again, um, maybe a couple of times uh, this year, Tony Belly fighting next week, um, it's all go. Cool. It what is, you... we're all flying, you know, my brother's not fired off a world title, now he's number two at WBC. But he was a champ. Um, Price is uh, closing in. You know, it looked great Saturday night. Um, probably a bit of a routine fight, but he's looking great coming. And I've watched him spar, don't forget, and uh, he's just a machine. Um, but to be fair, I've never really watched any heavyweights, but it's, it's scary, you know, watching big lads spar. And the four of us, you know, we're all doing good and we're all winning. You know, we all could be. We Well, not probably by the end of this year, but. You know, by next summer, we we'll all should be a world champions. Should be, could be. Oh, could be, should could be. be. Um, There's only me brother and Price in, you know, I believe I could win a world title. Um, Price is pressing in, you know, he'll hopefully get his opportunity in, and he'll pick up a world title. Are you on your way to Toys R Us now? Pardon? Are you on your way to Toys R Us? I've been, back in, if you see back in my van, it's full of toys. Uh, our last big win, man, you know, Babby's birthday, she's only two. I said, Christmas is only a month after, you know, like, just leave some of these toys for Christmas. I'm on my way to Meadowall, I've left her there, and I've been, I've come back to the gym to do these interviews. I left her with my bank card and that, and I so I'm trying to race to get back. That's your last two pounds is gone, wiped out in a couple it. of hours. So I'll go there, she'll be like, oh, I bought loads of clothes for Monaco, and I oh, know, she's all right, our last. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully by the time I get there she'll have sat and had a dinner I won't have to sit and you know watch her eat a TGI or something. I'm saying that, we Yo Sushi last time. Pretty easy to sit through and watch her. And you like that, Yo Sushi? Not I don't mind me. it, I don't mind it me. Um, when I can eat it, I enjoy it, but at the minute I'm dieting, am I? So I've got to sit and watch her and my babby eat it. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, listen, uh, Jamie, thanks for talking to uh, IFL TV. Um, I said Monaco, 12th of November. Uh, Five weeks out there. Be a different experience, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You know, bit of sun on back, hopefully. Do you know what weather's like? <laughs> Do you know what weather's you know like what? there? 12th, 11th. Got to be 20 30th degrees, isn't it? Uh, it's raining. It's only like being here, isn't it? So I like being it's here. Today, my bro. I want to book Cancun anyway, um, a few days after that. So I'll have that to look forward to. <laughs> Jamie, thanks for talking to iFull TV. Uh, no problem. Go and uh, finish off your shopping and we'll, do. we'll catch up with you ahead of the 12th. Cool. Cheers, mate. Nice one.